How Jelly Roll Overcome Addiction and Incarceration to Emerge as the Nation's New Face Jelly Roll has a straightforward policy on taking pictures backstage at his concerts, which his staff recently put up on the walls of Mechanics Bank Arena here. The former Southern rapper who is now a face tattooed country artist says, Before the show, great, whatever you want. But you come back after, then we're just chilling, having a good time. He smiles, ain't nobody need pictures of that. Put another way, business comes before pleasure. And business is doing well right now. Next summer, Jelly Roll will play at the Tailgates and Tallboys Music Festival in Midland on July 27. The Midland County Fairgrounds will host the festival on July 26 and 27, and passes will go on sale on November 3rd at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. A few hours before his performance, Jelly Roll, 38, is relaxing in a comfortable chair and smoking a joint while mingling with half a dozen of the radio DJs and programmers who helped propel his song Son of a Sinner and need a favor to the top of Billboard's country airplay chart this year. Amidst selfies, they discuss the fentanyl issue in Las Vegas. One person gives Jelly Roll an impromptu tutorial on the significance of Buck Owens and Merle Haggard to Backersfield's musical heritage. The vocalist remarks of the groundbreaking rap rock group, the fact that they're from the same place as Korn is awesome, to the amusement of the radio hosts and one of their teenage children. I wish Tupac was from Backersfield too, that'd really be a mind.